<laughs> How's that feel? You know, you, you feel like you, you know you're the player of the week. Is that an honor? How do you yeah. feel about that? Yeah, that feels good. You know, getting recognized, but obviously one game doesn't determine how good you are. So I hope many more come. Kamal said he stole. I mean, uh, Josh said he stole your uh, fumble. That he you were trying to jump on it. Yeah. And he, of course, he scooped it up and ran there for a touchdown. Yeah, I mean, you can't get any better than that. So I'll, I'll take the touchdown over there. Just go and cover for one game. How much of a crazy atmosphere is this going to be going to Marshall Wednesday night, white out, ESPN, you know how you guys been done last year, how, how crazy do you expect it to be? You know, it's going to be real crazy, you know, we're only going to have like a certain amount of, of, of our fan base there, so we just got to stick together, band together, and just play like how we always do. Do you remember about the game last year? I know that was a uh, Marshall was in control for most of the way. And when when you're on defense, the only way you were going to win that game is to get a big defensive yeah. turnover. And Bruce Miller stripped it. Were you on the field at that play? Yeah. I imagine. I was on the field. What was going through your mind as that play unfolded? Like we just came out to the wire. He made a hell of a play. Great, great play. Exactly. And Josh recovering. That was even better. Yeah, yeah. This, uh, is this if you were Marshall player, is this a game you would circle on your calendar, you think? You think they're going to be a little bit fired up to, to play you guys on Wednesday? Yeah, like Coach, like Coach Huck's talked about, we're number one in defense. They're, they're probably getting more good because of that. They could come in and beat us, just like how South Carolina and Alabama, uh, Alabama played. They're coming and beat us, get their name back on top, and just redeem themselves. You and Josh are both South Florida guys who both played early in your careers. What about your relationship? Uh, how much you guys kind of lean on each other back in the secondary? Yeah, you know, you know, we have off days sometimes. You know, we just got to pick each other up. You know, when we have good days, we pat each other on the back. But we know, you know, we got to stay humble and just keep getting into it and practice and stuff. You know, if Josh does something wrong, I'm going to get on him. If I do something wrong, he's going to get on me. You know, he's a real good guy. That's just how our relationship is. You've talked before about how much they're calling you down to you know, advancing in a position to start early. Can you talk about what he meant to you? Yeah, he was a big piece of the puzzle. Um, him and Coach Hugg, but on the field, you know, you got to talk to the players. He always there. He, he basically knows the defense. So mm -hmm. he coached me up. When Coach didn't have time, when Coach was in a meeting, I was going to be all. He, he played safety before, so mm -hmm. he knew exactly what he was doing. You know. He's real calm, cool, and he always has, he always has time for you. We were playing on, on a Wednesday night last week, and obviously this week, did you, did you get any feedback from home? Did you have any family, friends, or watching that game that yeah. were impressed with your play or anything? Yeah, a couple of family friends, and all type of friends on Facebook now, but it's cool. Yeah, man. excited about playing a game like that again? Yeah, yeah. another year's game game. Exactly. Is it exciting when you see this, this Sports Center top ten plays or a couple of UCF plays on there last yeah. weekend? Is that exciting to see? It's, it's a football player. Yeah, I mean, we probably would have been on the top plays, but I guess you know. Yeah. How much pride do you guys take in those defensive numbers and the players you're ranked? You're way up there nationally. You're top of the country. How much pride do you guys take in that? A lot of pride. You know, Coach Eric said we're going to be great, and everybody believes in it. And obviously, we're going to keep going. Appreciate.